What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video, um, to go along with all of the kind of laser pointer reviews I do for you guys, I figured it was only fitting for me to do a little tutorial on how to clean the lens of your laser. Many people that have owned a laser pointer have at some point had their um, dot get kind of like this. The light is spread out, it's not a perfect little dot. And this is the result of kind of like little dust or dirt particles on your laser lens. It could be um, a fingerprint smudge. Now you do have to understand the difference between a dirty laser lens and a scratched laser lens. A dirty one will look like this and you see the lights kind of spread out and there's little tiny dots everywhere. And a scratched laser lens will kind of have like a long horizontal or vertical line. So with the scratches you will most likely not be able to fix that. That's going to be on there permanently because it's a scratch on the glass. But with the dirtiness you can fix that. So what we're going to be demonstrating this with today is going to be a laser 303. It's the 532 nanometer green color, about 100 milliwatts of power. And these only go for like $5. They're one of the most common laser pointers in the world. A lot of people have these. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the battery from your laser because you don't want it accidentally turning on and shining in your eye that could cause some serious eye damage. Now as you guys just saw me demonstrating a moment ago, this laser doesn't really have a dirty lens and it has a nice clean dot with not a lot of light spread but that's just because I keep all of my lenses very clean. I'm just going to use this for demonstration purposes and who knows maybe I'll even be able to make the dot even cleaner than it was before. Um, so to do this, you guys are going to need three things. First, you guys are going to need some type of lens cleaning wipes. This package right here had like probably two or three dozen lens cleaning wipes and it was only like three or four dollars. They're typically made for glasses, but they work perfect for this. You guys are also going to need something to um, shoot out some compressed air. You can use a turkey baster or you could use those little um, compressed air cans that you use for keyboards. And then third, you guys are going to need some little um, cotton swabs, some q-tips. And what you're going to do first is you're going to start with the compressed air. And I usually just use a turkey baster. This works fine and you get like little bursts of compressed air. You're going to um, use that and you're going to aim directly into where the lens is. And you're just going to shoot some compressed air in there to try to blow out any dirt and dust particles that might be kind of just sitting on the lens and might not necessarily be stuck to it. And if you have one of those compressed air cans, just make sure it doesn't like produce any liquid because I know sometimes those um, produce a very, very low amount of liquid. That's why I usually go with the uh, turkey baster. I just find it a lot easier and there's no risk of it um, getting anything wet. Just make sure that you start with a clean turkey baster, obviously, and that there's nothing in it to start. Now, after you've done the compressed air for about 30 seconds to maybe a minute, you can move on to the next step and you're going to take out one of those lens cleaning wipes and you're going to open it up and you're going to take it out and you're going to fold it over the tip of the Q-tip. I usually um, fold it over so that it's like two layers and then I wrap it around the top of the Q-tip. And I've heard some people use alcohol pads as well. What the lens cleaning wipes are, are basically alcohol pads, but with a much lower alcohol content. And I prefer using these wipes just because I feel like there's too much alcohol with the alcohol pads and you don't need that much. And these are made for specifically cleaning glasses lenses. So I think these are a better fit. But once you have that Q-tip wrapped with the cleaning cloth, you're just gonna insert it into the um, tip of the laser and you're just going to kind of do a circular motion twisting it once you're making contact with the lens and this will remove any dirt and dust particles that are sitting on top of there. Now some lasers have a very narrow tunnel um, leading into the lens and you might not be able to fit the q-tip in there. One thing you can do is pull the cotton off of the tip of the q-tip and then wrap the um, lens cleaning wipe around it again and try that. That will make it a bit more narrow and improve your chances of being able to fit it inside there. Some people use toothpicks as well and I try to stray away from this just because I don't want to accidentally scratch my um, laser lens with something as sharp as a toothpick but if you do use a toothpick I would recommend that you break off the very tip of it so that it's not as sharp and it doesn't pierce right through the lens cleaning wipes and I would also recommend that you maybe for the lens cleaning wipe do like three or four layers wrapped around um, that way, when you're pushing it inside of the laser to clean the lens, you don't accidentally have the toothpick break through the lens cleaning wipes and you're just rubbing the end of the toothpick on your lens. 
So I usually do that for about a minute and then I do the compressed air again for about 15 to 20 seconds. And that's pretty much all you have to do and then you can reinsert your battery and see how clean and um, fine your little dot is. And it shouldn't be spread out, there shouldn't be a lot of light spread unless you have a scratch or something like that. Now why it's so important to do it in this order is because you want to use the compressed air first to remove any big particles because if you had something big like say you had a, a grain of sand somehow in there and you started right away with the cotton swab what you'd be doing is pushing that grain of sand up against your laser lens very hard and you'd be basically creating some pretty big scratches so you want to use the air first to blow out any big particles and then use the cotton swab to wipe off any oils or very very fine particles that aren't going to create scratches and when you guys are doing that q-tip step you don't really want to apply hard pressure anyway you kind of want to just do it gently enough so that you are making contact and that's all you're going to need to do um, to clean your laser lens if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below as you guys can see it might look like my laser lens has like a little plus sign and like it has some scratches right here but that's just the way the camera is picking up the light um, in person I can tell you that this is a completely perfect dot with no obscurities so I think that the cleaning might have actually improved my laser dot a little more but that's all you gotta do to clean your laser pointer lens if you guys found this video helpful in any way at all hit that like button down below and if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button for awesome laser videos just like this and as always guys thank you for watching from XM360